Hi everybody, Rob Keys here and I am playing War Thunder, a game that really caught my heart maybe a year and a half ago when it first hit open beta. I played it for a little bit, fell in love with it, played with my buddies Sound Barrier and Morphinite, who you've seen in lots of my videos on my channel. And uh, then, and then I just got too busy, uh, uninstalled it to make room for other games, and then it made a lot of news when it was announced that it was going to be coming to the PlayStation 4. And the big news this week is that it has. It just a couple of days ago, it finally released on PS4, and with it came the Ground Forces expansion, which just released a few weeks ago for this PC version. Uh, but before I show you the Ground Forces section of the game and the tank combat, I wanted to just show you a little bit about the main core game, which is the air battles. And uh, if you haven't played this game for a long time, I'm, this is going to feel like a bunch of newbie stuff for you. But if you haven't played this game at all, I think it's, it's kind of fun to show you. So, uh, first things first. Just like, you know, World of Tanks, you can choose your country and... Uh, I think most players tend to start by choosing the U.S. Air Force. You got uh, Germany, the USSR, the U.K., and Japan, of course, as well. But I have the most planes available for the U.S. side. So if I watch, if I click the USSR, I only have three planes right now. So I'm going to stick with the U.S. since I have more planes. And that's important because unlike World of Tanks or World of Warplanes, in those games, when you die, you're out. Game's over for you. In this game, when you lose one of your planes, you just switch to another plane, which is awesome. And there's so many different types of planes, like this thing. Watch, look at the, look at this, look how big this is. This is a big ass bomber. Right now, it's equipped with 16 little bombs. It's got gun turrets in the sides, the back. There's a gun turret underneath, a uh, gun turret in the front. Uh, I can hold down right click and zoom around. Uh, so uh, this game is free to play. You can jump in, and by playing it and just playing as many matches as you can and completing achievements and challenges, you earn in-game currency. These little silver lions. You can also earn research points. Uh, and I'll show you that in a second, but these research points, uh, it's sort of like playing, I guess it's the same as World of Tanks or MechWare Online, where uh, I can't actually use these to research stuff quicker unless I have these bad boys, the Golden Eagles, which is the in-games, this game's, uh, you know, real-life currency. It's the premium currency. You need to get these by spending real money. You can earn little bits of this by completing certain challenges as well, but primarily, you need to spend real money to get this. That's where the monetization comes in, and you can use this stuff I'll show you over here and I hit research to buy premium airplanes like these things. All these ones require golden eagles. Um, but for the most part, all this stuff you see on the left, like the vast majority of the planes, can, you can unlock simply by playing the game and spending in-game currency. Uh, you just have to grind your way through the research element, which you can see right here, and then making, making sure you have enough money. Because if I click this, uh, yeah, look, 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 it costs 50,000 research points and 210,000 silver line so that would take you a long friggin time playing the game uh which will force a lot of players to spend the golden eagles i think um so how this works is in terms of progression the more you play the more you earn that's simple as that and you're always researching a plane or two or whatever as you can see right now i'm researching this thing it's almost done it only needs 900 more and this thing's being researched as well uh so there's two layers of research there's you can research plane and a tank or planes and tanks for every single country but also within a given plane watch if i just click this buffalo here and look at customization i, I can well customize the decals i'll show you that in a second but if i go to weaponry it shows you all the equipment and weapons one of these things is always being researched at any given time as well uh this one i, I think i have everything because it was a hero plane that was awarded to me so that's a really bad example i will show you this one instead uh modifications here we go see this one's being researched so we have one element or are part of the plane being researched at any given time and at the end of a match all the planes you use for that match it'll show you how much research points you've earned towards unlocking the next thing and you can choose where to where to get your points so as you can see this one requires 560 little blue arrows research points if i earned uh for example like 400 research points for this plane by playing my next match I would have a little bit left, left over, right? I'd have, what, what, what's that, 42 points. And then that extra 42 points, I could pick which next thing I want to research. to be one of these three or this one uh, to put that points towards next, and that'll be the next research thing. Uh, rule of thumb, it's always good to get the offensive weaponry, like the ammo belts first, because that helps improve your accuracy, weapon fire rates, and lets you access additional types of ammo. That's very important for the airplanes. Um... I won't worry about tank stuff in this video, but that's sort of like your, your basic idea of how progression works. And you can uh, swap out these planes. I actually have a bunch of planes, so if I click this, I can go change vehicle. All the planes you have will be available. But you'll note that because different planes require different types of crew, for example, a big-ass bomber like the Catalina requires a different type of pilot skill than your little tiny uh, you know, pea shooter plane. So if I were to switch from this bomber, I'll show you, to a you know light fighter, it would charge me or... Actually, 
yeah, for, if I wanted to use this one, I'd have to pay these uh, silver lions to train the crew to use that plane. But you don't lose progress for that crew by doing that. Uh, and it's actually not that expensive given how much money you earn per round. But less talking, more gameplay. So right now, I think I had the joystick hooked up. Uh, so I'll just jump right into battle. You have three different options. you got arcade, realistic, and simulator. Uh, realistic used to be called historical battles, but they renamed it. And basically, these are very, very difficult. You have much more control over the little finite details of controlling a plane. And, uh, for example, if you're playing a like, simulator realistic, like you die and you're out, you don't have all the crazy heads-up displays. It's much more realistic. But also, the effects of G-forces and flying uh, will affect you as well. So if you sh turn too sharply in a little plane, you can actually rip your wing off in those modes. So I think a lot of players and uh, you know newcomers should focus on the arcade mode first. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to control with your joystick as well. So if you don't have a joystick, you can play with mouse and keyboard. Uh, I'll start with this guy. He's got some. He's got two machine guns and he's got three bombs. So I'll choose him. Let this load. Uh, there we go, third-person views. Yeah, so joystick's working. You can play the mouse and keyboard, and yeah, so right now, like, that's... WASD does that, and then the Q and E controls the yaw. And you can use your mouse as well. I don't have that set up right now because I'm using the joystick, but you can use your mouse to aim, and, and it's sort of like a, sort of like a fly-by-wire system. Uh, I use this primarily. I'm trying to think what changed my view. B. Behind view, if I had a turret... Oh, I do have a turret in this, so I could, like, move around, see? Control... So if I had a plane following me, I could switch to this big gunner and fire backwards. Here you're in cockpit view. I think you can look around as well, using the hat, see what's beside you. It's very, very detailed and beautiful. And then you got your simulator no HUD view, which is this, which is the easiest to aim and shoot targets. So like I said, uh, mouse and keyboard, it's pretty user-friendly to play that way. It's actually very easy with the mouse to hit, to aim but it's very difficult to control the maneuvering with your WASD, so the joystick's preferred there to get your quick, realistic action. Got the yaw. Um, and you can also play with the gamepad, but that's v I find it very, very difficult to control your plane with it and aim properly. Uh, of course, I haven't tried it on PS4, so I don't know if they fixed that using the DualShock 4 controller, but uh, we'll just try it like this. So, if I bring up the map, there's different objectives to earn points. Actually, before I do that, press tab, you can see the player list. It's basically 16 versus 16. As you can see, there's 28. There's tickets you have to reduce, like playing, you know, any sort of online conquest game, like Battlefield. You gotta get their tickets to zero. You can do that in a couple of ways. By shooting down all their pilots and getting points that way, or by completing other objectives, like bombing their bases. You can see these two red crosshairs here. Those are their bases. I'm actually gonna go in there. You can see my bomb reticle down below. I'm gonna do that. I get some points. Um, I think it's my number three button to drop bombs. So once I get in there, I drop all three of my bombs, get some easy points. One, two, oh, I'm actually on the afterburner right now. Dropped all three bombs. Whoa, Let's get out of the way. I feel like those bombs are going to hit me. See, all the, the G-forces actually affect me. It's always a pain in the butt. Alright, move that keyboard off my desk here so I can properly. Oh, this looks like somebody's following me. Oh! Alright, we are gonna switch to my in-cockpit view. Try to find out where this enemy is. Alright, so I will show... I, you know what? I'll make another video on how to... Wow. Hit my tail pretty good. Hard to target nearest enemy. Actually, I'm gonna go for this guy. I'm, I'm having tr troubles controlling my plane because I hit my tail and wing and back section pretty good. I think they're behind me. I'm gonna go for this guy. Oh. It's my gun turret shooting, so he must be near me. Yeah. It's, oh, wow. Whoa. No. Oh, he's hitting me good. Oh, I lost my wing. I can't control it very well. Oh, he hit me! I was in control. So, there's other things you can do as well. You can control your landing gear by pressing G. You can control your flaps. So, I should put my combat flaps on if I want a little more control in, uh, you know, your close quarter situations. I need 40 seconds to fix this fuel leak. He's gonna kill me before I get the chance. Oh! 
Oh, no, no, no. Let's see if I can rotate all the way around. I'm going down. Very pretty game. And the water looks good. Those trees look like sprites, so I'm not going to compliment those. Uh, anyways, I can choose my next plane. That's a little example of the controls. Uh, this one's got a few bombs as well, so we'll choose him. I like to choose my fighter bombers first so I can book it to their base, drop a few bombs, and still engage in combat. This one I actually... <laughs> look at the design here. Whoops. I put the custom decals on. Those were actually free decals, but if you can put up to four decals uh, of any size and shape, you can move it around and customize it by spending premium currency. You can also change the camouflage of the plane itself, but I threw on a big... Patriotic Canada flag in this one, and a lightning bolt on the other side, because those are, <laughs> like, the only free ones I could find. Alright. So the throttle in the top left, I can, I'm just controlling that with the throttle in the back of my Logitech Extreme 3D Pro joystick. Uh, do that with W, whatever. And if I hold the throttle maximum, well, I'm actually out of gas right now. It goes into WEP, or, like, afterburner mode. But it's a little shaky when you're doing that, so it's not recommended for combat. Alright, we have a lot of bogeys down here. Switch view. I think I have it set to R, target enemy. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go for this guy. Slow down, put my combat flaps on. Oh, wow. I think that secondary plane might be coming for me. I was trying to slow down and get right behind that buffalo, but I did a poor job of it. That guy got shot down by my allies. Alright, here we go. Several enemies down there. Another enemy shot down. Something hit my wing a little bit. You can see in my display in the left there. It's a little pinkish on the left side. My speed, altitude, display on the left, and bombs three. If you do not have bombs or missiles, it'll just it won't say anything at all. I think these guys might be a little faster than me. I'm in trouble keeping up. The guy shot down. Oh, man, these guys have to turn around. I want to get some shots on. I haven't done any shooting of enemies quite yet. Here we go, he's turning around. This might be my chance. Oops. Oh no, they hit him. Damn. Oh. Going down. He crashed the water, he's done. There we go. Alright, who's next? So this guy was shot down too. They're not getting a chance to do anything. My team's just owning. Look at the kills. Six, six, and five are our top three pilots. Here we go. We're going full speed. You can see it's shaking a little bit because I'm in WEP or my afterburner mode. Down to 100. If I can't get a shot off on this enemy, I will head straight. Oh, it looks like I can. I might be able to here. I'm gonna head straight for their base and drop a few more bombs. Oh yeah, I'm getting close. I'm gonna not shoot until I get close enough, because I don't want him dodging. It's also best to sort of tap your shots, sort of like you do in a first-person shooter with a machine gun. There we go, got a couple hits on. Ah, come on, come on, come on! Get it! Yeah! I got a couple of good shots on? How is he not dying? Wow, something... Oh, there's oil on my screen. Did I get hit by something? Oh, it's the gas coming off. Is the smoke from his... from his... following behind him. That's very interesting. That's a cool little detail. I've never seen that before. Somebody's shooting at me from the ground. Oh, secondary plane. Oh, wow. Drop all my bombs down there. This guy just took me to their base. Very kind of him. A few more hits on. Oh god. Oh, he's getting these little buddies to fly after me. I should break off, but I'm so selfish I really want to get this kill. Oh, he's trying to land. 
By the way, when you drop your bombs, they will recharge. No. 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 Uh. Uh. Aircraft destroyed. Yeah, I got the kill. Worth it. Now I'm gonna die. The bombs are six minutes to recharge. Some planes will charge in a minute. Oh, I'm done. See you later, man. Go Canada. Well, at least I got a kill there. So where am I in the scoreboard? I'm still in the bottom half, but I'm a noob, so I'm okay with that. Uh, should I go full-on bomber? We're almost down on their targets. Yeah, let's, let's just do that so you can see what this thing looks like. Oh, did I choose it? Yeah, I did. Look at this thing. This has no guns. It's like a high-altitude bomber, so as you can see, I start off over four kilometers up in the air. So we're going to head to one of their bases. I'm just going to turn my rudder a little bit. Yaw to the right. Yeah, this is a fun game. It's a bit of a... It has a like quite a learning curve, but, I mean, if you have a couple of friends who are patient enough to kind of stick with it for a bit, it's very rewarding to play. It's, a, it's very, very fun for a free-to-play game. Very, very detailed, too. Oh, man. And as you, like, progress, you can advance to the realistic and simulator modes and really take advantage of all the different uh, ins and outs of flight sims, which are lost on a lot of PC games. Again, I haven't played it on PS4 yet, so I don't know how good it is there, but I'm very excited to. Uh, this one actually has another viewpoint, so watch when I press V. Got the reverse view, you see the pilot and co-pilot in front gunner, the two gunner pods in the left and right, Gunner and uh, there's a gunner on the rear as well. This is a bombing scope, which is pretty neat. Um, so I'll use that when I get closer to their base. We're going to go for this one on the far right here. And I'm going to drop a full payload of 16 bombs. So right now, we are getting owned. We only have 200 tickets left, and they have 1,100. So we're going to lose, but I'm hoping before that happens, I will at least get to drop some bombs. You can see one of my ships down there. It's in the bottom center of my crosshair, firing at something. Still have 212 tickets. Where are we in this bombing run? Can I aim down a little bit? There we go. Okay, we're heading there. So I'm just pressing down on the hat switch in the top of my joystick to kind of look down. The altitude's actually increasing. Oh, there we go. That's what we want. Aha! We are approaching it. So I'm just going to yaw to the left just a tad little bit. There we go. It'll yank back a bit as well, but... I'm going to reduce my throttle. Slow it down a little bit. Watch my speed decreasing. I'm going to be at 250 very shortly. And that'll give me a chance to get a little more accurate with these bombs. So I'm going to go very precise and patient here. What's our score at? 112. I'll still be able to get these bombs off, hopefully. Alright. A few more seconds. Three, two, one. Use the forest, Luke. Just spamming the bombs. There we go. Bombs away. I'll hopefully, you'll be able to see them through the scope. Maybe not. Uh, I wonder if they're going to hit before the game's over. Oh, 12 tickets left. Come on. Come on, bombs. Oh, boo. Too late. Well, as you can see, the mechanics of some of the different aircraft. There are fighters, fighter bombers, the bigger things. There's planes that can land in the water. Um, some of the missions, you can capture bases by simply landing your plane on an airfield, capturing and taking it off. You can also repair your, your own aircraft by landing um, down on the airfield, and you can rearm and repair your aircraft. So that's very cool. And here's an example of what happens after a match. So, uh, it looks like... I, wait, you can change your decision later in the weapon below. So, it looks like I've finished unlocking the compressor. And now I got 59 research points to put towards one of these. And right now, it's it's aiming for this one, this gun turret. It's an improved gun turret. 450 is the cheapest of the three. Maybe I want this one. Bigger belts. Yeah, I'm going to focus on this one. So, I'll research that. And would I like to purchase the other item? Yep, yeah, I would. Cool. 
So it kind of gives you a little readout here. So aircraft destroyed, I lost one. Critical hits, but I took down one as well. And convertible research points, 379. This pool just keeps growing. It's completely useless. And the, the prices are outrageous if you want to combine it with the Golden Eagle still unlock stuff. But player stats. So I, you know, the bottom third of the pack, but whatever. I'm a noob. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. If you haven't played War Thunder, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun, uh, especially in the summertime when there's a bit of a lull with the video game release schedule on PC. Uh, you don't need a super powerful PC. It runs super well. I was recording it, playing a full 1080p with graphics at pretty high. I don't th I'm not sure if they're maxed out. And I my frame rate s stuck at 60 or above the entire time, which is wonderful to see. So, uh, yeah, like and subscribe to this channel for more and leave a comment because I love reading them. We'll see you next time. Cheers.